Well, good afternoon. This is Susan Rowan from her home office. Um, as you could tell, because it's around me and you could see books everywhere, because that is what an author does. I'm so glad you'll be coming to, and I hope you've already signed up for, the Publishing Lab. It promises to be super full of ideas. Frankly, I wish I had 25 years ago when How to Work a Room first came out. In fact, I wish I had me now advising me then. But here's something I want to share with you, and this is just one little tip. I am a big believer in that we must write the first draft of our own books. I think we can send it to charm school, but if we don't write in our own words, our thoughts, someone won't know what our voice is to pick it up and, shall we say, refine it. And there's a reason. If we don't have our thoughts and our words and our heart and soul, we will not be able to articulate fully, whether it's in one-on-one -on -one print interviews or an interview with someone that's going to put it in a blog. But most importantly, if we don't write the first draft in our own words, we won't have that passion, that information about what's in the book, and the substance and the bon mot that you have to have when you do the promotion. And I know now because I'm in the midst of the radio book tour and blog tour for the silver anniversary edition of How to Work a Room, which you can see all around me. And there is something to be able to do the interview because you know what's in the book that makes you a more interesting interview, gets you invited back, which helps further sales, 25 years worth of sales, because people want someone who sounds authentic, know what's in the book, has passion about the subject, and can offer their listeners the practical advice and information and stories, humorous stories, in a way that you really can't do if you haven't written it. The fact that you give it as a talk is wonderful. Capture it on audio, capture it on video. And you can have someone translate it. But I'm really from the school of you actually write it from your own hand or your fingertips and birth it. You will be able to articulate it in a better way, in a more interesting way, in a heartfelt way, in a conversational way that will make each interview help make the cash registers ring. Thanks so much. See you in New York in May.